This slide represents the whole pharmacokinetic aspect of what happens when a single dose of a medicine is given. And you see on the left-hand side, plasma concentrations, and in the bottom, against time. And time would depend on whatever it is, whether it's hours, days, sometimes weeks. But so I've used arbitrary figures. And you can see a curve there, and I've colored it to indicate the area under the curve. But as you can see, when you get to the zero point, at the bottom left-hand corner, you see at this point in time, there is a zero blood level of the drug because you haven't taken it yet. And when you take it within a certain period of time, you see this increase in plasma concentration of the drug. And that is called the absorption curve. And many, many factors affect that. And it gets to a point called the peak height, as you can see there, and then it starts to come down. And this is called the elimination curve. In the center of that curve, you see distribution. So during that time, the drug has been distributed throughout the body. It might be going through the liver, it might be metabolized to some extent, and you see all the area under the curve, or AUC. For virtually every medication or drug that we take, there is a minimum effective concentration. That is the line between uh, levels of 20 and 40, about 30 there. That is the, uh, the, time, the part where you start to get an effect of the medication. Then when you get to the top bit, there's another line going there. That is where you get to toxic concentration. So what we have to do is to allow the dose to be able to, for the drug to fit in within that dose range. And that is known as the therapeutic range. And for those of you who are using American techs, uh, it's a therapeutic window, exactly the same thing. At the bottom of the graph, you can see this narrow point of what is onset. The onset of action is when the absorption curve crosses that minimum effective concentration line. And then a bit further down, you see the termination or offset, sometimes it's called. And that is when there's not enough medication left for it to have an effect on you. In other words, that is the time that the medication will be effective. The time between onset and termination is the length of time that that medication is going to be, at least have some pharmacological action.